Greetings, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Alright, so you'll notice that I adjusted my equipment a little bit. I took off the dagger because I already have 10% boosted critical on this and a much higher base damage that is more than compensating for the 20% decrease in critical boost. And now I'm just waiting for him to get himself into the building, and I'm going to try and land on the railing this time, get that little extra bit of health more. Alright, here we go! I don't understand. Well, maybe... Oh yeah, I might have had a sliver of damage still on me. Well, that's what I get for trying to conserve Estes. Anyway, I'll see you back there. Absolutely maximum HP this time. Make sure I'm lined up with the railing, and this time we're gonna go try to go a little bit faster over the edge so that we more properly land on the railing. Here we go. Okay, I don't understand. Landing on the railing kills me, but landing in the boxes doesn't. Okay, so, we're back again, but this time, I know what the problem's been. So I forgot a basic piece of Dark Souls 1 obscure mechanical knowledge. While you can't ever change the distance that your jump goes, it always is a fixed amount, how heavy you are determines how much fall damage you take. In addition to, in Dark Souls 3 now, I believe, dexterity reduces fall damage that you take. Anyway, now that I've taken off the piece that doomed me, which was this, and additionally taken off all of the pieces of night equipment, I should take much less fall damage. Well, assuming I hit the railing, that would be good. Okay, let's try this again. Only, is there really just, there's gotta be a better ledge I could hit. Maybe let's just try hitting the boxes. Oh. I don't understand, how did I live the first time but not all of these successive times? More importantly, where the hell does this ledge go anyway? Where would it be the other place you get to it from? I mean, it's gotta go someplace. Second to death of jumping down to this thing to my to there has got to be a better way to do this. Let's just try getting some vantage points on this. That door's all boarded up. Doesn't appear to be any way to cross that gate. There's a bridge. I don't understand how I lived one time and now all the successive times I'm dying. Gotta have something on. Okay, we live. 
God damn it, are you kidding me? Fucking binoculars in my slot. This is why I didn't want to have them in the quick slots. Okay, so I guess the boxes are breaking my fall. Either that or it's something else I noticed, which is that uh, I'm sort of half aligning between the boxes and the railing. Normally, that would be even more of a guarantee that you would die in Dark Souls 1, as I can attest from the number of, like, the uncountable number of times I've gone through the, uh, the Great Hollow, is it? Just hitting a slope that doesn't count as fully contacting a ledge just adds to the total amount of distance that you've fallen. Anyway, enough ranting. On to the speed up. <laughs> note and the 23 minute timer I'm going to call this an episode and I'll be right back with you after I have gotten onto the ledge and gotten rid of the first wave of enemies that dog and the great axe wielder because this is going to take a while it seems and the longer the file go the longer the video goes the worse the file gets if I stop it now, I can actually cut the file size down, see how long it's going to take, and then continue on with the remaining time. So I'll see you for that in just a moment. Be right back. And welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Courtesy of one try more, get here. So, this has been an adventure. Now I'm going to take this as carefully as I fucking can. Are you serious? Didn't I just kill the dog? I guess not. Which means I still have one hell of a trial ahead of me. Alright, so there's a firebomb guy in here, a halberder, and then another great axe here somewhere. And dogs just randomly attack things that get in their path, I guess. Alright, there's the halberd guy. What I would really like is if I could just sneak in here up those stairs and get rid of the firebomb guy and his guard who last time I died to because my dash attack threw me past them instead of hitting them two dogs or just the same one finishing his path must be the same one just finishing his path I am over there and then there's the great axe guy hi bud That was interesting. Right. Don't have the Sorcerer's Catalyst on. As a matter of fact, I can put the rest of my goddamn gear pack on now. Position to no, he's looking this way. Okay, here we go. Gently does. It. Stealthing in Dark Souls Three. Nobody's seen me yet. 
I'm a fucking ninja. And heavy plate mail. Don't mind the metal. It's just for decorations. Helps cast out the light. Because, you know, mirroring. They can't see what's they got light in their eyes. You're going to get up. And now the jig is up. At least as far as this guy's concerned. Shit! Fucking lock on. Alright! And now I have no Estes. And that piece of board was seriously losing its mind. really good. We're going to check it out right now. Please tell me I have the strength. I have the strength for it, and it's full physical block. Interestingly enough, it has less stability than my current shield. I didn't upgrade. No, I didn't upgrade this, so that's a, 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 a cost, I guess. It's also much heavier, of course. And, of course, it doesn't have parrying on it, so I'll have to watch out for that. Also, since that's adding, what, two or three pounds? Three pounds, yeah. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, I didn't put that on. Great. Which means I'm still light Alright, so we've got some proper physical block now. Hmm, interesting. That might allow me to more swiftly use the stance abilities of this sword to break guards instead of uh, kicking. I don't know if there's... A jump there that's practical or not. Well, no. If there's anything over there that looks like when I get that item up there, you just drop down to it. Now, in case I kill something and get some Estus, that would be great. Good message. Try luring it out. Try eliminating one at a time. Please tell me those messages aren't facing this way. This has got to be some path back to where I need to be, please. Oh, okay. Didn't see any. Dead end is good. Dead end means end of exploration. Broadsword. We have some knight equipment now. Matching sword and shield of the knights. Starting equipment. Can you tell I'm tense? I'm tense. What's that knight got to? Ooh, spear knight. You don't see my sword poking out around the window. You don't see anything. Kick him! Or that. That works too. What I wouldn't give for a fucking heal mirror right now. Or some free Estes. Do I have any kind of healing item? No. No healing items. I'm just stranded with this. Super, super tense. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. Is that the ladder? Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it. I knew it. I knew it. That was way too fucking hard of a... Ch well... And there's that, folks. Regardless, I'll see you when I come back from the bonfire. Back in a moment. Alright, here we are at the Ledge of Truth. 
Hermit's Insight for the day. Dark Souls 3, tidbits of knowledge. If it seems impossible, it probably is, because Dark Souls is difficult, not wrong. Difficult, but fair. Not ROM hack impossible. So, obviously at some point I noticed this doorway before and never investigated it. We are now correcting this problem. What happened to that knight with the spear? Hey, hello! No. Those pots look suspicious. Wary of bright. Ah, I remember this. Okay, so we looked up at this item uh, a long time ago. Let's see what it actually is. Not much. Helpful, but not much. And in here we have... Surprise. Undead Hunter Charm. A Lloyd's Talisman from the previous game? Princess is fine. Yep. Tool used to hunt down the undead. Used long ago by Lloyd's cleric knights on their undead hunts. Although All Father Lloyd is long forgotten by the way of white, his hunts have lived on, and his charm allows one to challenge undead without fear of tenacious healing. Seriously, though, what happened to that knight with the spear? Yep, there he is. I guess he patrols into the doorway sometimes. This is so much easier with plenty of Estus to back me up. How's it feel to have your back to the wall, asshole? I lived that hell just a little while ago. So you get no mercy from me. Now then. Now that I don't have to be afraid of being heard, because I'm out of Estus, go check out this pathway. More green blossoms, okay. I don't think so don't I good. Okay, yeah, maybe a little bit a little bit more careful now. Not a mimic. Really? You're just gonna give that to me now? Hmm, maybe it's weaker than it used to be. Hmm. Solve some problems. Maybe a little problem solving. Huh. Well, either I got a headshot on him, or I did enough damage to kill him outright, regardless. Oh. That was weird. The light on my controller just went off. And it seemed to wig out a little bit in the process. I don't have a way down from here that isn't hell on earth combat. And obviously the last person to try that didn't do so well either. So maybe let's not. I've got a bow and arrow after all. And now the next time one of them pops their head out, I'm gonna throw a bar bomb at them. Well, that didn't do anything. Well, to do or die. Somehow I managed not to get the fight of the dog in. Or to get the dog in the fight. What the dog? Oh, there's a staircase down, too. Well, down, but not very far. Can I backstab a dog? No, I can't. A 
us. Interesting. Key to a cell holding thieves and the like. There is no shortage of brash thieves in Lothric, and these particular thieves likely scaled the wall from the undead settlement. But they are only willing to practice their thievery on the high wall, for their fear of Lothric Castle, rumored to devour men, keeps them clear of its grounds. Interesting. Aw. Could have sworn I would have found something behind there. Regardless, it seems like I have emptied this particular area of not only its immense and difficult threat level from having to freaking fall in here, which was completely unrequired, but now I've killed all the enemies, explored all the areas, and got the loot. Experimentation. Aw. Would have been nice if I could have put that up. Anyway. Let's see, run around with the torch held up so I can see everything. I think I've got this area cleared out then. This is a nice little side area filled with some decent loot. Just made it all super hard and difficult on myself because I had to be really stubborn and idiotic about it. If I had just come down one level, I would have found the I would have found it to be a much easier process. Regardless, the deed is done. That's all for this episode. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.